to another weekend New York City vlog. I am uptown right now. I'm walking down 7th Avenue because I am going to a hair appointment with Eddie, who is my colorist and like he cuts my hair too. Um, I made a mistake and I took the subway up to 42nd Street because I put in my, my city mapper that it was 39th Street that I needed to go to and it's actually 29th Street. So uh, now I need to walk, but thank goodness I actually, when I arrived, it was 15 minutes early, so I'm still gonna arrive on time, so that's good. I'm not gonna show up late. But yeah, it's Friday. I just did some work from a coffee shop because I had a doctor's appointment earlier that was out, like away from my apartment, so I was like, I'm just gonna stay outside of here, work from a coffee shop until my hair appointment. My hair appointment is at five, so it's right at the end of the day. The work day is over, and I'm just ready to kick off the weekend. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. Hello, guys. Good morning. It is Saturday morning, my favorite day of the week. Oh, I see my friend Ashley. <laughs> I'm meeting my friend Ashley for hey <laughs> for. After, well, not afternoon tea, morning tea for just a tea. They do cute little like, you know, scones and mini tea sandwiches and stuff. Um, so yeah, can't wait to see Ashley. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just vlogging. You know, you look so cute. <laughs> again so I just left Ashley she and I had a lovely little tea this morning we got the little mini tea sandwiches and scones and uh, we got two different types of tea and just had a really nice conversation and I always enjoy seeing her so much and I always am just in such like a happy positive mood whenever I leave just leave being with her um, she's just such a great person um, and I'm so grateful for my friendship with her. So we came up to the Upper East Side. We just took a quick Uber up here. Ashley has to, had to depart, but I am going to be doing something really fun right now, actually. So I've wanted to do this for a while. I am here because there are two stores that I really need to visit to find my wedding shoes. So anyways, I'm just walking down Madison Avenue and the two main stores that I want to go to to find these shoes are Manolo Blahnik and Jimmy Choo. And they're much further down Madison. Right now I'm on 80th Street. Those are like in the low 60s. So I've got a ways to go, but I'm okay with that because there are so many cute stores along Madison that I'm like, I wanna stop at, such as Love Shack Fancy. So I'm gonna pop into a few places just a little Saturday shopping. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off, we've left the ground. You, you gotta understand. I 
actually just took any pictures or videos in, well I did take pictures, in, I didn't take any videos in Love Shack Fancy because I just met Chloe, she is, she also has a YouTube channel, she also has a pretty big Instagram and TikTok and we've like been talking online for years now and it's just funny to finally meet her in person. She works at Love Shack Fancy so she was in there I was like, oh, are you Chloe? She's like, oh, are you Taylor? And like, it was just so, like a sweet little interaction. We got a picture, I'll insert it here. But she just like knows everything, like lives and breathes Love Shack Fancy and yeah, we were like, oh, we have to meet up sometime. So anyways, I'm so glad I finally got to meet her. now I am home from my Upper East Side shopping day I ended the day with my bridal shoe shopping and I did buy some shoes so I'm gonna show you guys and share with you what my actual bridal shoes are going to be I did also do a little bit of other shopping I'm gonna show you my like little little haul overall it was just a really nice day and I just I love shopping alone. It's like one of my favorite activities because I feel like if I do it alone, I'm not bringing anyone else, like slowing anyone else down. I can just go at my own pace and just look at things and discover new things. And I feel like I have a lot of interactions as well with people. Like I met Chloe. I also, when I went into Jimmy Choo, I worked with the same sales associate that I worked with when I went there last spring with Jessica and like she remembered me and we just had like a nice conversation and yeah it was just a lovely day I did get super tired though I just kind of came home and then well and I just watching tv and I put some comfy clothes on and I'm just chilling a little for a little bit we are going out to dinner tonight so I'm just gonna have to change back into normal clothes and go to dinner this is like a birthday dinner with Lyle's family just a week later so yeah we're going to this place called oceans which Lyle and I have been to once before very very early on in our relationship I want to say it was in like the first or second year of our relationship was when we went so it'd be nice to go back there it's beautiful inside it's like from what I remember, it was very big, tall ceilings, huge round tables, and it's like some seafood. So yeah, I'm actually excited to go. And okay, let's get into the haul. 
So, first thing I want to show you, this is a place called Zitomar. Zitomar, it's on Madison Ave Avenue. Everything was on Madison Avenue. And it is a pharmacy, sort of, but it kind of reminds me of like a French pharmacy mixed with an American drugstore, but like way nicer. Then on the very top floor, there was a hair salon and when I walked in I was so confused they, sh they someone actually gave me a tour of it I don't know what it was but I got like the nicest people <laughs> that I talked to and like just showed me around today I don't know sometimes it's just like a good vibe so anyways uh I just got a couple of I only got one thing from there this is the some hairspray <laughs> kind of boring but I do like this hairspray I don't love the scent of it but it is a pretty good one. It's the L'Oreal Alnet. This is just the normal hold. And then I wish that I had waited until I found Zitom Zitomar, Zitomar. But right before that, I walked into another very similar pharmacy, just much, much smaller. And they did have Bioderma because I just ran out of mine. This one has that like push down top, which is always really convenient. And this is like a big size too. So uh, I'm excited that I found that and also at the same place I got some more slip hair scrunchies so I actually love these I have been using the I always get the thin ones because you know <laughs> my hair is super thin but I like the light pink ones they didn't have all one color of light pink but what they did have was blonde ones and so they had like blonde brunette and then it goes darker and darker all different colors so I was like okay if I can't get all pink then this is the next best thing and slip is just so good for your hair because it doesn't pull as much <laughs> your hair just kind of glides through it rather than like a normal hair elastic like the one I have in my hair right now and yeah I wear these all the time it's just the ones that I do have right now I've had for a couple of years so you know they wear out over time they stretch out they get you know whatever so it's just good to have new ones and then I just put my flowers from Ashley in a vase and they're looking beautiful but let's move on to the big thing which is the wedding shoes okay so I shared some stories on my Instagram today and I showed some I showed the the shoes that I bought were shown on my Instagram so if you saw that you might already have an idea of what I got so I actually got two pairs this is from Manolo this is from Jimmy Choo these are actually the exact two that I had my eye on, so it was kind of like I knew beforehand what I was getting into. Okay, this feels like a very big special moment um, that I feel like I should be doing in better lighting in daylight, but let's not waste any time. Let's just do it. So, first, Manolo. These are going to be my actual wedding day shoes. And I know a lot of people like to keep this stuff secret and kind of have a reveal on the big day. For me, I think the overall look of the big day and the dress is really the big secret. I don't, you know, it's nice to keep shoes a secret, but also I think it's fine if you don't. So, the big reveal. Bum ba da bum. Oh, I thought that was going to be more dramatic. These are my wedding shoes. So these are Manolo, these are the Hangisi, but these are in a satin, it's actually a silk uh, white. And then my something blue, which is the embellishment detail on the toe. I just wanted something very bridal, very classic. I loved the idea of it just being a typical pump. I did try on two other pairs at Manolo that I also had been eyeing. It was these, but instead of the something blue, it was a, just a plain crystal, but it was very dark, and those were very pretty too. And then I tried on the classic Sarah Jessica Parker ones, which are the dark blue, and I thought if you had asked me before I got engaged, right after I got engaged, up until more recently, I would have told you those are gonna be my wedding day shoes. But then I really thought about it and like, 
I just don't know if it's me, you know, but I see this, this white one, and I think that this is just so much more me. So I'm glad that I went with them. I think that they're really pretty and I can't wait to wear them on the big day. These are my wedding shoes. So something I should also mention about them as well. I'm just a girl that loves shoes. So the other thing I was going to mention is the heel height. So it's 90 millimeters, which is 3.5 inches. So they're not too high. They did feel very comfortable when I was wearing them. I am potential. I am going to be on the if, it's, if the weather is nice, then I our ceremony would will be outside. So uh, if so, I will need to get from Amazon just to keep from sinking into the grass some plastic things. And she said that you can also dye these as well if, say, something happens because they're white. You can go to like a special shoe cobbler. She gave me some information on that that I probably put somewhere, but. Yes, so these are the wedding shoes. So I will need to wear those around the house a little bit to break them in before my wedding day. So if you guys see me on a vlog wearing sweatpants and some beautiful shoes, that is why. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, and she also was so sweet. She took this picture of me just sitting at the little cafe kind of bar thing that they had in the back there. Yeah, me buying my wedding shoes. So that was so nice. Okay, I also had, have always really, really loved this pair from Jimmy Choo, and I'm thinking this is going to be my rehearsal dinner shoes. I might also, if we have a bridal shower, I don't know, maybe would wear them for that too, just to get two uses out of them. These are not cheap, but they're not as much as the Manolo bridal shoes. There were so many options at Jimmy Choo, but these were the ones that I've actually had my eye on for a while. And it's crazy too because they're less expensive yet I like them more. So, yay. So these ones are more of like a sandal type and they have this big Jimmy Choo pearl on them and then at the toe here it's just this like simple understated beautiful lace I also love the straps and how it looks in the back like that when you're wearing them and I just thought that they were so cute this heel I think it also is only 3.5 it's under 4 or maybe it is 4 but it's not super high either so these were also very comfortable the thing with these both of these wedding shoes is that it's like okay when are you gonna ever wear them my friend Melina actually told me that she wears her and I love this and this is what I want to do too She wears her wedding shoes every year on their wedding and her her and her husband's wedding anniversary And I thought okay, that's really I like that. So so I'll be doing that too and um, Oh my gosh, I like I can't believe that I actually own these that these are in my apartment right now because I feel like I've been staring at them online for so long, but just how like how cute is that I just let's take a moment to appreciate the detail of Jimmy Choo just a quick moment here they just like scream bridal to me although I feel like these ones you can also wear for a non bridal thing like you know if you're wearing it for something else and you style it a different way I'm obsessed. All right, so I've got some shoe breaking in to do, but that was basically the big moment of today. Okay, so we are heading out to dinner now. I just wanted to show you guys my outfit real, real quick before we go, but I'm wearing this pair of pants from Massimo Duty. <laughs> I've had them for a while. They're like a navy blue, and they're kind of like wide leg. They're nice. And then this stays on kind of like cardigan, lady jacket sort of top that's embroidered and I just love all these little details it's just so gorgeous I have got my Corel shoes on I know it's a little bit of a black with the navy but um, they're really the only close toed dark shoes that I own and then I'm finally wearing my coat that Lyle got me for my birthday um, it's from Alice and Olivia and I'm obsessed with it it is my favorite coat that I own it is just so pretty I can't really <laughs> show you but when it's tied like this it is just 
absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, we're gonna head to dinner and have a nice time. out I am very cold I'm walking to a workout class last night was really great I love that place oceans that's our second time there and it was just as good as the first time I got the most unsophisticated meal choice though I got a lobster roll I say unsophisticated because out of all the other choices there it's kind of like a nice place you know I could have gotten a nice fish or something like that but I just love lobster rolls so much and I just love lobster in general so I just yeah I went for that and we also got some appetizers and stuff that was that were really good too and dry January is over so I did a glass of Sancerre and it was very delicious but yeah I'm just taking a workout class you know I'm trying to get wedding ready it's a little loud up here and I'll see you guys after my workout class was good I didn't feel like I put my best my all into the class today there was something about this morning where I just felt really tired and just like I couldn't move in the way that I normally do so I'm still glad that I went though it's still good to go and you know get your body moving and stuff but yeah wasn't my best work but anyways I came back showered I'm about to go to the grocery store in a second before I do I thought we could talk about the spray tan <laughs> so I have been getting notifications of comments from two vlogs ago about the spray tan thing so I wasn't originally thinking I would be getting one at all this came up because my makeup artist who I was doing a trial with had suggested it um, most of the comments that I'm getting are about like embrace your pale skin blah 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 and like I totally get that and I love that um the reason why I did consider getting a spray tan is because I thought that it was right for me because yes I am pale but I actually do get tan I do have the ability to get tan um and so for me having a spray tan is not an unnatural look and when I was on my that vlog, I'll leave it linked in case anyone's like, what the heck are you talking about? Um, on that vlog, the level of tan that I was was not the level of tan I'm going to be on my actual wedding day. So I decided that four days after that initial tan was my favorite day. By then, it had really just brushed off in a way that looked so natural. It was actually even less tan than I typically am in the summertime. It was just a really nice, very subtle bronze that you wouldn't even notice or wouldn't even detect that I got a spray tan. So for me, because I, I am a person who does get tan, I don't just burn, I do get tan, having a tan in the summertime is when I feel like I look my best and I want to feel my best on my wedding day so I am going to get a spray tan because that's my decision and I really appreciate all of the comments that are saying you know do get it or don't get it um, but I just wanted to let you guys know why I choose to do it and I think maybe last time that I talked about it I didn't explain all of that hopefully you guys can understand it's not at all going to be what you have in your head as a spray tan for me it's going to be what I look like 
when it is mid summer july august in the middle of like when i actually am out in the sun you guys might have actually not really seen me that tan because since i've lived in new york city I spent so much less time out in the sun in the summer than I used to mostly because it is extremely hot here in the summertime in New York it's like notoriously known for the heat just trapping in the buildings and shining off the pavement and it's like a, a, over a hundred degrees even if I laid out on my roof which I do sometimes I can only stay there for like a short period of time I used to be a lifeguard and when I tell you I got so tan when I was a lifeguard it was crazy um, so anyways it's not unnatural for me to have a tan I want to feel my best on my wedding day it's my decision I just want to tell you guys why I'm doing it and hopefully it makes some sense but I can understand if someone doesn't naturally get tan how that would maybe seem unnatural um, but for me it's about feeling my best um, and because my wedding is in early May I don't know how many sunny days there's going to be before May before early May like in April and stuff so anyways hopefully that makes sense um, it's just something that I've been thinking about <laughs> reading all the comments um, but anyways so moving on to the rest of the day I just made a to-do list and on that to-do list I need to go grocery shopping so I'm gonna go downstairs I'm gonna get some groceries and I'm thinking that I'm going to make a chicken noodle soup I do know that it's a longer recipe that, that it takes to make I just want to spend time inside today I do not want to go outside anymore than I have to so I'll go grocery shopping and then hopefully I don't have to leave the house for the rest of the day because it is just so cold and I just need a day to stay inside warm my body from the inside out just take it slow make a soup that takes hours and just check off stuff from my to-do list i'll also be doing laundry i'll also be processing some returns i need to make stuff like that so anyways that that's the plan so i'm gonna take you grocery shopping with me let's go <laughs> back from grocery shopping I did have to get myself a little bit of the coffee just to get some energy today I don't know what it is but for some reason today I just feel so exhausted <laughs> but anyways it did help and I took my time just walking around Whole Foods just grocery shopping and getting what I need I'm gonna show you everything that I got I already laid it out instead of taking it out of the bag like I normally do so it's I don't know I just feel like it's easier to visualize and then I can group stuff and tell you guys what it's for all right so let's start with the thing that inspired this whole grocery haul which is the chicken noodle soup from scratch so everything in this area right here is for that recipe so obviously I have a whole chicken I have some egg noodles I need carrots celery some parsley and onion I've got some lemons thyme and then I did need black peppercorns and bay leaves so that's for the the chicken noodle soup recipe I'm gonna be making the stock and then anything else that I need for the recipe I already have it's not much more than this but yes like salt and stuff okay next for breakfast they didn't have the big size of my usual foyer 2% yogurt so I got two small ones I'm trying not to eat it every day but I do have it so that I can have yogurt at least twice for breakfast this week sometimes it's nice to just do something quick I do have a lot of work meetings early this week that are very important that I'm not gonna have time to make myself breakfast for so this will be like a quick grab and go thing cut up some strawberries put them on top throw some blueberries in good to go if not I can also if I do have a morning where I have time to make breakfast I'll put some of these blueberries on top of some oatmeal if I have time to make it and then if I don't finish these berries by the end of the week I will put them in a reusable freezer bag and I will freeze them and then use them for smoothies for the future next bananas so same thing I have lots of different uses for bananas mostly breakfast wise once these ripen I will either throw one in an oatmeal or I will freeze them for smoothies. Next, these are my 
lunch for the week so this is the salad section so this you can't really see it but this is some dino kale so that's going to be my salad lettuce base i have an avocado i always get two avocados one that is ripe now and then one that's going to be ripe in a couple days a cucumber i got some sprouts this week tomatoes i do also already have in the fridge some um, radishes and beets so i'll be throwing those in as well this is a broccoli and then i have some chickpeas garbanzo beans um, that i could also throw into the salad and you know rinse them obviously first if i want to and then i do make my own salad dressings and i usually use some dijon, dijon mustard to make those dressings because it just makes it so creamy and it's like the perfect secret ingredient and i was all out so i got some more of that and that's the grocery haul. So I'm going to put this all away and get going on the soup. Take me to the ruins, aquifers and springs, baby ferns and curling, every living thing. Be to me a mother, both hands. Actually, I just took a little taste of it. It is so good. The recipe actually is from uh, Cooking with Shireen. It is, she has a TikTok and I don't, I haven't seen this full recipe post anywhere, but you have to just search for her name and then like chicken noodle soup recipe. I did write it down as I was doing it. So maybe I'll just insert a picture here of like the step-by-step -step and then the ingredients in case anyone wants it. Um, but yeah, it does take hours though. It is much later in the evening than I expected this to be done. So next time I make this, I'm definitely gonna start out earlier <laughs> in the day. And this is what it looks like just to show you. So there's the egg noodles. This is a little bit of parsley and some carrots and it's just so good. <sighs> All right, so just ate dinner. It was very good. I really do like that recipe. It also, made so much for leftovers so i'll have dinner sorted for the week i also have enough to freeze and have at a future date so this is a good like i don't know make ahead sort of thing to on a night where you don't really feel like cooking you can just easily heat it up uh so yeah i'll insert a clip here of the amount of leftover that there was because there was certainly a lot of it but yeah, that's it. So I am just going to end the vlog here. It's been a great weekend. I have a big work week ahead of me. So I'm going to say good night. But I really appreciate you guys watching this video. And I hope that you enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the Fashion Squirrel over on Instagram. And hopefully... I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.